Priscilla, what are you doing? Hey Isaiah, I'm trying to set this builder to perfectly fit onto this person tosser. I was originally going to use a catapult for this, but unfortunately none of the stores I went to have them so this was the next best solution. Okay, but the thing is, why are you doing this? You see David, Davion, and Aaron over there? Yeah, what about them? I am going to prank them by launching this boulder right where they are. Are you serious? Why would you do that? You know that if this backfires, it would most likely kill one of them. Chill out, brother. I am sure that this boulder won't hit any of them. If you say so. But if this does fail, don't be surprised when I say I told you so. Anyways, all I have to do is press this button on my phone, and it should activate the person tosser to launch the boulder to their direction. Alright, here we go. Honestly, I can't believe that Thomas got eliminated last episode. He didn't do anything to deserve this. Yeah, not to mention the fact that he had the same voice as us. It was bad enough when Garrick got eliminated in episode 4, but now he's gone as well. Honestly, I have a feeling that someone might have tampered with the votes, because there was very little chance that he could have been the one eliminated. That could also be the reason on how we lost the challenge in the first place, because judging on how Donovan acted when he saw our cake, there seemed very little to no chance that we could have- <laughs> So, who was right about the boulder landing on one of them? Okay you were right, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. Now please let's get out of here. Gladly. Hello everyone, welcome back to the contestant battle, rebooted. Last time, the contestants had to bake me a cake, and while the evil demons managed to get a good score, the great gangsters was about to have their cake tasted, until their cake suddenly explode which caused them to face elimination. And Thomas got eliminated because of a sudden unanimous vote. Currently we have 26 contestants left, and right now we are about to start this episode's challenge. But first, I have something to ask. Where is Davy on, and why is he running late? Donovan, Davy on was killed by a random falling boulder. What? Davy on died? Yes, he did. And gee, I wonder what caused it to happen. Anyway. Do you still have those old recovery centers from the original series and character fever? Unfortunately, I sold those old recovery centers a long time ago, mainly due to the fact that I didn't have a use for them anymore after the original series ended. However, throughout the last portion of 2023, I have been practicing on recovering contestants in case there was ever a time where someone needed to be revived. And it looks like now's a good time to see if all of that practicing was worth it. Alright, here we go. Yes. It actually worked. Whoa, what the heck? Where am I? Aaron told me that you got killed by a falling boulder, so I used a technique I've been practicing to bring you back to life. Oh, um, okay then. Anyway. Please go sit over the where the other contestants are, I was just about to announce what the next challenge is. And now, for this episode's challenge. For this episode, we will be doing a trivia quiz. Hold on, you mean something like Kahoot? Yes David, this will be a Kahoot style challenge. 
for this challenge, you will be answering 15 trivia questions regarding the original contestant battle series. You will have 20 to 30 seconds to answer each question, and since this is a Kahoot style quiz, the faster you guess the correct answer, the more amount of points you get. At the end, the team that has the most total points wins the challenge and the losing team will be up for elimination. You know, I was expecting us to do something that takes a bit more effort. And something like a trivia quiz takes barely any effort at all. Don't underestimate what I choose for a challenge Levi, just because the challenge itself is easy doesn't mean I can make it easy for you to do it. And now that we're on the topic, I can tell you right now that you do not want to lose this challenge. Wait, why is that? Because in this episode, the team that loses will be facing a double elimination. <laughs> and trust me, this won't be the only time this will happen. Anyway, this TV next to me will display the question and how long each question is for you to answer. After each round, the TV will display how many people got the question right. Afterwards, it will display the top 5's current scores and which team has more points. Like I said, the team with the highest score wins, and the losing team will face elimination. So now, with that said, grab out your devices, and sign in so we can get this challenge started. Alright, everyone has signed in, and now we can start the challenge. Time's up everyone, now let's see what the correct answer is. And now let's see who the top 5 is. Within only the first round, 3 members from the Evil Demons already managed to reach the top 5. In fact, over half of the contestants that got the question right were from the Evil Demons. But the great gangsters can still easily catch up and make things different. Let's see if that's the case with the next round. Oh well, you really wanted to go there. Time's up everyone, now let's see what the correct answer is. And now, let's see the top 5 current scores. Like I said, the Great Gangsters managed to catch up a bit since now 3 of its members are in the top 5. But we are still only 13 rounds away from finishing, so anything can still happen. Now, let us start the next round. Man, I actually can't believe it's been a long time since the series initially started. Tell me about it. Sometimes I even forget how long it's been since the show started. Time's up everyone, now let's see what the correct answer is. And now, let's see the top 5 current scores. Well, it seems like the Evil Demons has gained a bigger lead of the Great Gangsters. Not only because most of the Evil Demons members managed to exceed a thousand points, but there are only two contestants that still haven't gotten the correct answer, both of which are on the Great Gangsters. Whoever they are, they better start picking up their pace because I am not in the mood to go back to the elimination area, much less for a double elimination. Anyway, let's just move on to the next round. Oh, I remember this. I was really excited when we got announced as official contestants for the show. Yeah, Ashley, I remember when we first joined the show too. It was a nice experience to actually be a contestant. Time's up everyone, now let's see what the correct answer is. And now, let's see the top 5 current scores. 
The evil demon still has a decent lead of the great gangsters, but the gap between both teams is now smaller since most members of the great gangsters managed to get the answer right. Let's see if they are able to catch up. Oh no, I actually do not know the answer to this one because I wasn't in the game at the time. Well maybe next time don't get eliminated so early. Dude, you were literally the reason why I even got eliminated in the first place. So why are you even talking to me? Time's up everyone, now let's see what the correct answer is. And now, let's see the top 5 current scores. Well, it looks like the Great Gangsters has finally surpassed the Evil Demons in overall scores. But we're only one third of the way there, and the Evil Demons can still catch up. Oh and just to let you know, I won't be talking much for the rest of this challenge. This is done to help speed up the time since me saying the same thing repeatedly will get repetitive very quickly. Anyway, let's start the next round. And now, let us start up the next round. And now, let us start up the next round. Wait what? The show wasn't originally planned to have 20 contestants? I didn't even know about that. Neither did I. But let's try to answer this question as best as we can. Just so you know, we've passed the halfway point of this quiz. And again, the gap between the team's scores are very close. Let's see if that'll continue to be the case. In case you didn't know, in the event of a tie, we go by whoever received their votes first. In this case, since Davey Young received all three of his votes first, he would have been the one rejoining the game. Nice. Whatever, considering what happened later on in the season, I probably would have just rejoined at a later date. And now, let us start up the next round. Even though 3 was the technical answer, I accepted 2 as the correct answer as well since the last double elimination basically turned into a triple elimination because of Mouth quitting or because of Ms. Mouth getting eliminated. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But anyways, let's see the top 5 scores for this round. Alright everyone, we are nearing the end of this challenge. 10 of the 15 questions have been answered, and only 5 left to go. Now, let us start up our last set of questions. Oh, that's too easy, it's literally a staple team name in the series. Now, let us start the next round. If you're curious on who should have been in the danger zone instead of Priscilla, there will be a video link in the description describing on what the points should have been instead of what the actual episode had. But anyways, let's see the top 5 current scores. Now, let us start the next round. Oh 
wow, I never realized that the show had as many contestants as I thought it had. Two questions left. Let's move on to the next to last question. Well guys, we have made it to the final question. This will determine which team will be safe, and which team faces elimination. Good luck. Ah, I will never forget the day I won the contestant battles first season. It was truly one of the greatest days of my life. I agree, I remember how happy I was when you were declared the winner, because I believe you truly deserve the win. And now, let's see the top 5 final scores. Congrats to Davy on Isaiah, David, Levi, and Julie for placing in the top 5 this challenge. Now, let's reveal the team's scores and see which team is safe this episode. Congrats Evil Demons, you have won the challenge and are safe from elimination this episode. Which means the great gangsters, I will be seeing you guys at the elimination area for the second time in a row. Be prepared for the elimination tonight, cause like I said, two of you will be leaving the game this episode. Alright then, I will be seeing you guys later. Hello great gangsters, welcome back to the elimination area. How does it feel to be here twice in a row? Honestly, just annoying that we have to face a double elimination right after facing an already unfair elimination. Well hey, at least nothing bad happened to where you had to face an automatic elimination. Anyways, since this is a double elimination, you will be voting for two people instead of just one. Inside the voting booth, there is a clipboard with sheets of paper in it, all you have to is write down the two people you want voted off and put your sheet of paper inside the bin that's right outside the door. Now, get voting. We got to see the full leaderboard after the challenge ended, and let's just say, it gave me a clear idea of who deserves to be voted off. I have a feeling he still hasn't forgiven me since character fever. You know, I can't really decide on who I want to vote for. Okay, so you guys have casted your votes and made your decision. Unfortunately I forgot to buy a cake, so instead of getting a cake when you're safe, you can just leave the elimination area. Anyway, let's get started. Out of the 13 of you, 5 of you did not receive any votes, and those people are Brian, Brianna, Jessica, Julie, and PC Guy. All of you may leave the elimination area. Well Jules, looks like we survived another elimination. Yeah Jess. Let's go meet up with Ember and Heather. Now, all 8 of you received at least one vote. And out of the 8 of you, 3 of you received only one vote. Aaron, you only got one vote, so you're safe. Well it's good to know that I'm safe. Kate, you also got one vote. So you're safe as well. Wow, that's a relief. Warren, you're the last person with only one vote. So you're safe. Phew, at least I didn't end up in the bottom two this time. And now we're down to five possible contenders. Davy on, David, Dora, Caillou, and Rosie. There are five of you left, but only three spots remain. Now I'm gonna announce the next person that is safe, and that person is... David, with two votes. Well, good thing that I'm safe. Well Davion, 
good luck. Davy on, you're the next to last person safe with only three votes. I expected to be safe this time. I'm still annoyed that I was even this close to elimination, but it's whatever I guess. Dora, Caillou, and Rosie, you are the bottom three. One of you will be safe, and the other two will be eliminated. And with five votes. The last person safe is... Dora. Sorry Caillou and Rosie, but you are both eliminated with seven and six votes respectively. Oh man. Well, I'm not surprised. I was kinda expecting this to happen considering our performance in the challenge. Yeah, I agree. But it still sucks that we got out. Sorry you too, but now it's time for the both of you to go. Goodbye. Well, goodbye everyone, and best of luck for the rest of the contestants. And with a double elimination out of the way, officially one quarter of the cast has been eliminated. 24 contestants are still competing for the $1 million prize. But believe me, things are gonna start changing a bit. What do I mean by that? Stay tuned to episode 8 to find out. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.